guys and welcome to my next reaction to Supernatural. Well, that, the last episode we ended with I think the wall coming down a little bit or a lot a bit or fully. I don't know and I am scared. I am scared. I am not ready for whatever is about to happen and I just I, I'm bracing myself. Bracing myself. This is I wasn't ready for this to happen this soon. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know why I thought that, but that anyway, let's get into it. Sam. Oh God. It's Sam. Oh God. Come on, damn it. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? <sighs> hey, hey, hey. Do Is he okay? Are you okay? Are you, what happened? That's slightly unsettling. Don't love that. Ooh. Ooh, how did that, how did that, how did, how did, how did, ooh. Okay, that is so unsettling. All right. Ooh. Okay. Oh, my God. What a name. I think I got hit by a planet. They were looking for you. I'm a doctor. I got Joe, Grub, and... What are they? Effective. Uh-oh. Okay, because we did it your way. We let you go explore, and every bad thing that I said would happen, happened. So guess what? Sure. Past stays past. Be my valentine. It won't work. We'll put it back. Oh! So, Lisa. Oh, reject. <laughs> Isn't that how it always goes? Can't be that easy. What if they're getting like attacked by a vampire? <laughs> Is it really gonna? It's just like mannequins, or hello, something close to mannequins. Who's there? Okay. Okay. Oh boy. Ah, very funny. That's not good. It's not good. It's not good. Oh, why is that? Why does it? It's like the same mark. Oh! Just, sta just stabbed. Just stabbed. Well. This thing's humming. <clears throat> that anatomy dummy we were molesting at the lab. Excuse me? Or that's what this is about. What exactly are you accusing me of? I don't mean that. I Damn it. There was an anatomy dummy there. Listen, weirder okay. things have happened. My best friend would not like this just... episode. She is terrified of dolls. I mean, if ghosts can possess humans and, and move objects, why can't they possess this? But riddle me this, bad boy. Ghosts aren't exactly known for hopping county lines, right? True. It is slightly unsettling. I don't know if Kim Cattrall's looking at me. Mm -hmm. Lisa? Finally. I've been calling. Ben? What are you Something's doing? wrong with mom. What are you talking about? Uh-uh. It's bad, Dean. Define bad. I, I don't know. She, she won't talk to me. I right, put her on the phone. She won't come to the phone. Just come help me. I, I don't know what to do. All right, let me call you back. Dean! Five minutes. Well, come oh, my man. God. What I had to deal with my past year... You gotta deal with yours. Oh yeah, and that works so great for you. Um, well, sure. Okay. Oh my god. I was slightly concerned so that he was getting out. a call Very that it was something like bad was happening. Was we had, she was shy, a little awkward. I guess that made her an easy target. I feel like I've been defending her my whole life. I'm sure she appreciated it. Okay. Well, it went both ways. You work at Saltzman and Sons too? Everybody works at the factory. Yeah. That's gross. Okay. Okay. Ooh, something happened at that Christmas party. Uh, well, did you know Rose Brown? Uh, maybe. Uh, the name sounds kind of familiar. Ooh, you seem like you're lying. I'd love to help, but... 
I don't know anything. And uh, I'm about to be laid back for break. You so. seem nervous, Johnny. I do a bit. Dean, what are you doing here? Well, we've been parent trapped. What? Oh. And so now nine one one. Oh God. Oh boy. Oh boy. You want to sit down? Okay. I called you six times, Dean. And I almost called you back about a hundred. Good to know. At least Ben called me. I dropped everything and ran. I know what I want. But I can't have it. Not how you live. My phone rings. I think tiny chance it's you. Big chance it's Sam calling to tell me you're dead. Please. No, don't. Oh, my heart. I'm trying to get over you. What are you trying to do? Well... What do you want from us, Dean? Whoa, 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 whoa. He did think something was wrong with you. I, I don't know, maybe because of the feds? Maybe because Dave and Steve are freaking You are dead? up to something. Or some. I don't know, you're not no. saying something. No. Oh, you're about to get it. Oh, you got a mark on your... Oh, oh, oh. Tough times. Tough times. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. That was a ghost trying to kill you for being a dick. What? <laughs> it's pretty you straightforward. You're lucky you were the most suspicious interview of all time. <laughs> I figured something like this would happen. Honestly, we just thought she was kind of pathetic. Look, Rose, I think he oh. likes you. <laughs> it was mean. You know how it is when a group of guys get together? They, they act like jackasses. And, uh... Oh, don't be like no. that! Is that a, an excuse? <laughs> what is that logic? Go to hell. Hey, take a joke, Rosie, seriously. saying you deserve to die. You're a dick, though. I can help you. <laughs> How? You just want me to stand here all night? Yes! Consider it getting off easy. You think I'm gonna say I'm sorry? And why oh. would I think that? Because you lied to get me here? It was an emergency. A date's not an emergency, Ben. It is if it's the third one. I watch TV. I know what that means. Oh. Okay, Ben. Why don't you come home? Can't you just say I'm sorry and then come back? Oh, my heart is just gonna shatter. So you hate mom now? What? No, oh, come on. So it's me. Ben, stop it. Whatever I did, I'm sorry. Listen to me. Oh! You didn't do anything. You understand that? Oh, Ben. Oh, my God. My whole heart. It's like this, then. Just because you love someone doesn't mean you should stick around and screw up their life. Oh my God. So I can't be here. But you see, this way you got a shot to live whatever life you want. You know, pick one, pick five. Because with me, there's just the one road. Oh my God. You're a liar, Dean. Excuse <gasps> me? You say family's so important, but, but what do you call people who, who care for you, who, who love you, even when you're a dick? You know you're walking out on your family, right? Ah! Oh my god. I'm trying so hard not to cry right now. It is so hard. Woo! I did not need that scene. Alright, it's over. You're safe. But Johnny, look at this as a new beginning. Mm. A lot of chances not to be a jackass. Is it really over? It's a pretty simple case for. Oh, God. So pack up just the essentials. All I want is for us to move on with our lives. I love you. You know that. It's been really hard, Jen.
Do, is that how we're ending the episode? Oh. <laughs> Until it's over, I guess. Okay. So let me guess. Um, you were at the chem lab and the factory this week. Did you happen to stop by a bar called McOwen's last night? Everybody from the factory goes there. I stop in maybe three times a week. What? What is? The murders. The, oh. Your co-workers. Your college janitor. What? You, you think I could do something like no, that? No, 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 no. But, but I think you're at the center. What are you wearing of roses? A, a ring? A bracelet? A, her baby teeth and a locket? What? You're scaring me. Just think, please. What, what, what well, do you have of roses? I, I'm carrying with you. Well, the only thing I have of hers is a part of me. When I was 16, she gave me one of her kidneys. Ah! Okay, well, let's just cut that out. <laughs> You're kidding. Will you please tell me what this is about? Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, but I'm going to need you to come with me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Just when you think you've seen it all. What do you want to do? What do you do with a haunted kidney? She kind of needs it. No. No way. That's impossible. No, 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 no. Oh. Hey, you leave my baby alone. <laughs> Surprised if she just takes off. I'm so sorry, baby. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. You guys? Yeah. Yeah, I'm. Save a few dicks and we killed an innocent girl. I got a heartbroken kid and a woman who's so pissed at me. I see what you mean about facing your past. It's, uh, it's, it's awesome. Thanks, mm -hmm. Dean. Wow. You know, all we do is make a mess. Oh, Dean. I'm just tired of all the bad luck, you know? I mean, at least Satan's left the building. Ah! Yeah. You're right. It's the little things. We'll lose some. Hopefully we'll win more. And <laughs> for what it's worth, I got your back. Yeah, I know. It's very sweet. It is very sweet. I just have to say, look, with the, what Sam was saying at the end, where he's just like, you know, Satan's left the building, I've got my soul back, I've got all this stuff. Listen, like, sure, true, but also, like, I don't know. It's not over until it's over. You know what I mean? Just like the episode. It's not over until it's over. Until I'm watching the last episode of Supernatural. Listen, all this shit could just hash right on back up, I feel like. Anyway, um, wow. What an interesting two episodes to go back and back, back to back, because we've got Sam really focusing on, on his past or what happened in the past year in the last episode, and now we're focusing a bit on Dean. You know, it was a fairly simple um, plot line when it came to the the, go, the haunting um, with the, the mannequins and stuff. Um, and it, it was oddly refreshing. I was waiting for all of these plot twists to happen. I guess there was a little bit of something with like, what are you carrying around with uh, you that is of hers and she, it's a... It was her kidney, and that, like that was kind of a little bit of a twist, but it wasn't. It felt like a fairly like story that you would possibly see a little bit more early on on Supernatural, and that's not to dismiss anything early on in Supernatural. There was just a lot of stories that was more about explaining the lore, so they were not as complex. Does that make sense? But um, so that kind of you know, uh, but I liked that because. Sam was able to sort of focus on that a little bit while Dean had to kind of face some of his own things. And oh my God, I don't know how to express how bad I feel for Dean in this situation because he, 
you know, he, God, it's like, it's horrible. It's horrible. He is abandoning a family that he has known to be a part of and, and uh, that, uh, and his own abandonment issues really probably get trudged up when that, where, you know, when, when Ben's like, well, you're abandoning your family. I mean, it did not what Dean needs to hear, but I, I want to say the main, one of the things that I want to say is that I don't blame Ben for doing what he did and, or being kind of just upset. I mean, he is a kid. He doesn't understand everything. And Dean is the only father figure that he's known really. So I, I believe I, I so I think that that it, it all really makes sense and when there's somebody else coming into the picture when you are still kind of clinging on to Dean that is very very difficult and upsetting um and you know I think Lisa is making the right decision for her and her son of course because of the fact listen I I would love for Dean to get this happily ever after but she's very I've always really liked Lisa because I find her to be to to really look at the situation for what it is. Does she love Dean? Yes. Does Dean love her? Yes. Does Dean love Ben? Yes. Uh, but I, you know, if he can't let go of hunting, it whatever effects that it has on him personally, whatever effects that she has to deal with them being put in danger, all of this stuff, you know, um, if he's willing to completely like hang up the hat or whatever, that might be one thing. Um, there could still be potential for, for stuff to still pop up, obviously, uh, given everything that he's done and whatever. But I think that, you know, um, she, very, I think it's very clear how much she cares for him, how much she loves him, but I think it's also clear that she needed to set this boundary as hard as it is. You know, as there's this, you know, really wanting something to work out. And you know, when people are like, love is all you need, is love really all, all that you need? Is that, is that enough to make a relationship work? There's a lot of other factors, um, and I like that this show really puts a spotlight on that and and makes it so that she's not entirely that bitter about it. You know, she's uh, upset because, you know, once she thinks she gets over him, he, he shows back up. However, <laughs> it's not that he showed back up just to fuck with her or anything like that. Like, it wasn't anything like that. He literally thought that there was something wrong um, because of what Ben told him, so... You know, obviously, that it's not necessarily to, you know, uh, but, um, yeah, it's, it's a tough relationship to kind of have to navigate. And I think that Dean tried his best to, to explain to Ben all of that. But I understand why Ben's really upset, and I understand why she has to try to move on, and she has to try to... Find her own happiness. Um, she can't just wait around forever um, to whenever Dean might, you know, and which we may may never happen, you know. Um, whenever he he might want to to come around, or and even then, it's there's a lot. I, there there's a lot to unpack there, but you know, I, I think it's it's kind of interesting to to get into all of that. It felt, it felt like this might be the last time we see Lisa and Ben. It felt like this might be closure. So it, that makes me kind of sad. I really do like them as characters. I like, I, you know, um, but I'm just really feeling kind of broken about, you know, how Dean must be feeling about the whole thing. You know, having to let go of that maybe to protect them and and all of that, protect them from from other stuff and himself. But it's it's heartbreaking. That whole scene with Ben just absolutely destroyed me into little bitty bits. That was awful, especially to Dean, who 
has, you know, his own issues with his own father and stuff surrounding that to see that that effect, maybe not exactly the same or anything like that, but some sort of negative effect happened to, to the closest thing he has to his son it is probably really difficult for him to even um, cope with. And, you know, love isn't the issue there. It's not. Um, so I actually like that this episode sort of did, went into that a little bit um, and, and went into, you know, because obviously I feel like the last time, if I'm correct, that we had any interaction with Lisa and Ben, it wasn't, you know, it didn't end with like a, a good closure, in my opinion. So I liked that they kind of addressed that here. Again, we might see them again. I have no idea if we will or not, but it felt fairly final, um, in my opinion. And I like that it seemed, you know, the, the plot for this episode was fairly simple so that we could really focus on that part and, and Dean and what, you know, Dean had to address about, you know, um, what happened during that year. Um, so I thought these were great episodes to have back to back, really. I thought they were, they were really great. Um, I think that's it. I don't know if there's anything else that I can really, um, talk about when it, it comes down. But again, it was a fairly simple, um, kind of the, the supernatural element to this was, was fairly simple. And I kind of liked it. <laughs> it's kind of refreshing. Um, but yeah, uh, I think that is about it. Uh, thank you guys. Oh, if you'd like to support me on Patreon or subscribe, I would really appreciate it. But if not, I'm just happy that you're here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.